Wasn't that... Maester Seymour? People of spirit, I thank you for your generous welcome. Rise, Maester Seymour, and all of you as well. I present to you the son of Maester Jeskel Guado, who departed for the far plain of Fort Nightpass. As some of you already know, he has been officially ordained a Maester of Yevon. I am Seymour Guado. I am honored to receive the title of Maester. In life, my father Jiskel worked to foster friendship between man and Guado. I vow to carry on his legacy and to fulfill my duties as Maester to the best of my abilities. Hmm. Again, Lady Yuna. I yes? You look troubled. Is there anything I can do? <sighs> well... I see. Maester Seymour, let me show you to the command center. Hold. I have a request. Yes, Your Grace. I need to have Summoner Yuna and her guardians let through to the command center. But, Mr. Seymour, Mr. Seymour, sir. Do not worry. I will take full responsibility. Very well, they may pass. It is done. Crusaders of Spira, protectors of all Spira. Believe in the path you have chosen. Let faith be your strength. I, Seymour Guado, Maester of Yevon, will bear witness to your deeds today. Waka, I think Maester Seymour sees that too. Ah, Sir Oran, it is an honor. I would be most interested in hearing what you've been doing these past ten years. I've got nothing to say about it. I... see. Sir Oren must be a great asset as a guardian. Please, there's no need for formalities. Excuse me, Maester Seymour. Why is your lordship presently present here, sir? Please, speak as you normally would. Uh... Isn't this operation against the teachings of Yevon? Aren't you going to stop them? It's true. I should. Mm -mm. However, both the Crusaders and the Albed truly wish peace for Spira. This Operation Mihen 
was born from that wish they share. Although it may be sacrilege to Yevon, their intentions are pure. And I, Seymour Guado, the person, not the maester of Yevon, as a denizen of Spira, I wish them well in their endeavor. But using Machina, that's bad, isn't it? Pretend you didn't see them. <gasps> Beg your pardon, but that's not something a maester should say. Then pretend I didn't say it. You're kidding. From the first time I laid eyes on him, I never did like him. But you know, some of the things he said that day... I had heard from Seymour, but I didn't know if we'd actually meet. Good to see you, Oren. Ten years, is it? Monks, and also commands the Crusaders. All troops ready to move at your command, sir. Good. Dismissed. Sir! Tell me, Oren, where have you been the last ten years? We don't have time for this now, do we? This plan won't work. You know that. Lord Keenock. Oh, yes. Proceed. Heard that, Oren. A lot has happened. A lot. I kinda... think we don't belong here. Time at last. The fiends may break through. This place is not safe. Make sure you're prepared to defend yourselves. Tell me when you're ready. Mr. Keenock, please. Um, sin is jacked. swift retreat. What do you mean? Mm. The past ten years have changed you, I see. You do not look so well. But now, more than ever, you must be the people's strength. Their confidence. Anyone else would be expected to show their sorrow. You are a summoner. You are Spira's hope. Until sin is defeated, you must not relent. Do you understand? Are you afraid? Yuna, take me as your pillar of strength. As Yuna Leska had her Lord Zeon. Lady Yuna, until next we meet, farewell. These are the past leaders of the Guado. They all look the same. Maester Seymour doesn't look like them, no. Don't you know? The last leader, Maester Jiskel, wed a human woman. She was Seymour's mother. Huh. Truly, it is good to have guests again. Since Lord Jiskel passed away, these halls have been too quiet. The death of Lord Jiskel was a great loss for all of Spira. Was this Maester Jiskel really such a great guy? He brought the teachings of Yevon to the Guado. He was truly a great man. Truly a loss for us all. Now, a new leader 
Lord Seymour has come before us. Lord Seymour is the child of a guado and a human. He will be the tie that binds our two races together. But that is not all, I think. Lord Seymour, he will surely become the shining star that lights the way for all the peoples of Spira. That is enough trouble. Must I always endure such praise? Welcome. You wanted to see me? Please, make yourselves at home. There's no rush. Pardon me. It has been a long time since I had guests. Lady Yuna, this way. This sphere is a reconstruction created from the thoughts of the dead that wander the far. Xanarkand? Correct. Xanarkand, as it looked 1,000 years ago. The great and wondrous Machina city, Xanarkand. She once lived in this metropolis. She who? Lady Unaleska! She was the first person to defeat sin and save the world from its ravages. And you have inherited her name. It was my father who named me. Lord Braska was entrusting you with a great task. He wanted you to face sin as Lady Unaleska did. However, Lady Unaleska did not save the world alone. To defeat the undefeatable sin, it took an unbreakable bond of love, of the kind that binds two hearts for eternity. to marry him. Uh, hey! You know what Yuna must do. Of course. Lady Yuna, no, all summoners, are charged with bringing peace to Spira. But this means more than just defeating Sin. She must ease the suffering of all Spira. She must be a leader for the people. I proposed to Lady Yuna as a maester of Yevon. Spira is no playhouse. A moment's diversion may amuse an audience, but it changes nothing. Even so, the actors must play their parts. There's no need to answer right away. Please, think it over. <sighs> we will do so then. We leave. Lady Yuna, I await your favorable reply. Why are you still here, sir? I beg your pardon. 
we Guado are keen to the scent of the far plane. about to tell you is the unclouded truth. I swear it on my honor as a Guado. Listen to me very carefully, for I shall tell you the truth about my son Seymour. His mind is closed even to me, a maester of Yevon. But I can feel flames of darkness burning in his heart. He is using Yevon, the Guado, and even the summoners. If he is not stopped, he will surely bring destruction and chaos to Spira. I will leave this world soon, killed by my own son. But I do not fault him, because I was not wise enough. He has suffered and become twisted. I could not protect him and his mother from the world and its cruelty. I will accept death as punishment for my deeds. But whoever is watching this, I implore you to stop Seymour. Stop my son. Seymour! Please be silent. Lady Yuna prays to the faith. Make me! Yuna! We saw Jiskel's sphere! What of it? Lady Yuna, certainly you knew of these things, did you not? Well then, why have you come here? I came... I came to stop you. I see. You came to punish me then. What a pity. Ah, of course. Protect the summoner even at the cost of one's life. The Code of the Guardian. How admirable. Well, if you're offering your lives, I will have to take them. Maester Seymour, I trust my guardians with my life, but they are also my friends. I will not stand by and watch them be hurt. I will fight you too! All right! Maester Seymour! So be it. I knew you were bad news the first time we met. Oh, my sincerest apologies. Seymour! You may be a maester, but I will still fight. Your eyes, they burn with resolve. Beautiful. Maester, we must stop this! Ah, this can't be happening! Feel my pain. Come, Anima! That power that defeated Anima, it will be mine! Pity me now? What have I done? 
Wait a minute, it's not our fault at all. Seymour struck first, he's the bad guy. You did this? Yuna, send him. Please. Give us a chance to explain. No need. I already know what I'll tell the other maesters. Meaning? Lord Seymour was the leader of the Guado before becoming a maester. You're not letting us go. Let you go? Lord Seymour would never forgive us if we did. Wait! Wait! Jiskel's sphere! We can show it to them! You mean this? Hey! The Guado take care of Guado affairs. Away! Run! This has gone far enough. You would play at marriage just for a chance to send me? Your resolve is admirable. All the more fitting to be my lovely wife. Do you not value your friends' lives? Protect them. You are wise. You're coming with us! Don't worry, go! This is foolish. If you fall, you'll die. Don't worry. I can fly.
You have inflicted dire injury upon Maester Seymour Guado. Conspired with the Albed and joined in their insurrection. These are traitorous and unforgivable crimes that disturb the order of Yevon. Your Grace. The real traitor is Maester Seymour. He killed his father Jiskel with his own hands. What is this? Hmm? Haven't you heard? Not only that. Maester Seymour is already dead. It is a summoner's sacred duty to send the souls of the departed to the far plane. Yuna was only doing her job as a summoner. Grand Maester Micah, please send Seymour now. Send the unsent to where they belong? Yes. <laughs> Maester? Send the dead? Hmm? You would have to send me, too. What? Grand Maester Micah is a wise leader. Even in death, he is invaluable to Spira. <laughs> Enlightened rule by the dead is preferable to the misguided failures of the living. Life is but a passing dream, but the death that follows is eternal. Men die, beasts die, trees die. Not in vain. No matter how many summoners give their lives, sin cannot be truly defeated. Their rebirth cannot be stopped. Fight gives the people hope. Heaven is embodied by eternal, unchanging how fares the Ronso Maester? It seems my father's murder troubles him. <laughs> Ever the Ronso. Hard-headed, hardly useful. However, the summoner Yuna, daughter to High Summoner Brassica, she may be of some use to us alive. She has disturbed the order of Yevin. She cannot be allowed to live. I understand. Let it go, Seymour. No one thrown into the Via Purifico has ever survived. Yet there is always a small chance that they might. Place guards at the exit kill any who emerge. Sir. Leave that to me. Allow me to do this because she is my bride. Wait, I will go too. You do not trust me? Would you trust a man who murdered his father? Very well, as you wish. I have saved him. <laughs> he was a man who craved power, and great power he had, but he feared losing it. Trembling at unseen enemies, he spent his days scheming petty schemes, chased by his fears, never knowing rest. You see, now he has no worries. He has been granted sleep eternal. Death is a sweet slumber. All the pain of life is gently swept away. Ah, yes. So you see, if all life were to end in Spira, all suffering would end. Don't you see? Do you not agree? 
That, Yuna, is why I need you. Come, Lady Yuna. Come with me to Xanarkand, the lost city of the dead. With death on our side, we will save Spira. And for this, I will take from you your strength, Yuna, your life, and become the next sin. I will destroy Spira. I will save it. Unpleasant. Very well. I will give you your death. You seem to want it so. I have become the next sin. Your father will be freed again. Pitiful mortal. Your hope ends here! And your meaningless existence will end! Do you not want to heal Spira's son? Let death carry you off into peaceful slumber. You can't run from your fate. You have angered Kimari. The spirits of the Ronso will guide Kimari's spear. Why are 
Are you in Gordo Salam? What business have you here? You want to start something? Uh, if it would please you to harm a defenseless old man, then burn me, boil me, it matters not. Huh? Lord Seymour is gone. No lord rises to take his place. The Guado merely wait for sin to come and finish us off. Why should I care what you do to me? Oh. If it meant rejoining Lord Jiskel and Lord Seymour, then your taking off my head would be the greatest kindness. When Lord Jiskel was alive, the Guado knew prosperity and honor. But now, we Guado wither and crumble. I myself could have done more to stop this. Forgive me, Lord Jiskel. Are Maester Seymour's mother. So you know, yet still you seek my aid. My son, do you not hate him? It is all right. He is the one who sowed the seeds of hatred. He is to blame. But I am at fault for letting him become what he was. He was always alone, half Guardo, half man. I wanted to give him the strength to live by himself. And so I became a faith. But because I let him taste power, he began to thirst for more. He was not satisfied with my Aeon. He wanted more, more power. And he found sin. Yes. Come, Summoner. I will bestow you with my power. The Dark Aeon, Anima. Destroy sin and my son's obsession with it. Though it is small recompense for what I did to him. <laughs> Don't you ever give up? Sin has chosen me. I am part of sin. I am one with sin forever. Immortal. I will learn to control it. From within, I have all the time in the world! Since you were gracious enough to dispose of Unaleska, the only means of destroying sin is forever gone! Now nothing can stop us! By all means, try! You should thank me. Your death means your father's life. You would oppose me as well? So be it.
is you, after all, who will send me. But even after I am gone, Spira's sorrow will prevail. Sin will be right behind you. <laughs>